so adoption and tone and all in the last class we have discussed about the errors in the measuring instruments okay so we'll take some brief review about that one how many types of errors are there four measuring types. instruments four types any other answers two types what are those two types anyone can you tell me see you people all of you are writing the notes no at least key points you have to note down already teaching material is given to you people the link is there in the uh, whatsapp you can download the ppts you have to check that one if it is not possible you go to the youtube and you can see the video of the class there are three types of losses are there these are the three types one person c has told four and another one c has told two both are wrong answers you have given the cross errors systematic errors and random errors again this systematic errors are classified into three types again we have classified them mainly main type of errors are three type the systematic errors are again classified into three types those are instrumental the errors occurs because of instrument problem that is instrumental error because of environmental condition what are the errors will occurs those errors are environmental errors the observer depending on the observer the errors will happen those errors are called observational error we are going to call so gross error means all of you know that when gross means total total errors we can call that one randomly some errors will come that is random errors we are going to call within the measuring system whatever the errors will come that is systematic errors we are going to call that one in the system measuring system what will be there the instruments are there in the measuring system instruments are there surrounding area environment will affect over there observer the whatever the meter or measurement who is doing that one that person it is also depends over there so based on con con considering these all the points again the systematic errors are classified to three types that is instrumental error environmental error and observational error so this already we have discussed in the last class this is observational error when this side he will see the mirror will deflect that one it is away above sorry more than that one like that so next point that is called very important if the offline exams will come in this question may come and some definitions they are going to ask you so the characteristics of measuring instruments so the mainly the measurement system characteristics are divided into two types one is static characteristics another one is dynamic characteristics all of you know static static means what it will not changes with the time it is constant negligibly small variation you can call that one here the quantity which will not vary with the time that is called static we are going to call that one constant we are going to call that one all of you have studied the transformer transformer is a static electromagnetic device static means there is no movement of rotating part and all the things constant part we are going to call that one. like that in the measuring instruments the the set of criteria defined for the instruments which are used to measure the quantities the quantities which are slowly varying with time are mostly constant or it will not vary with time that is called static characteristics we are going to call that one do not vary with time the graph of that one we can draw like this just a minute see here the quantities i will consider here one graph i will draw here just listen here this is the time i will consider here now this is time so the output is like this the output is like this if i will vary with time time i will vary here time is increasing but is there any variation here it is constant only it is constant only 
negligible here some variation is there that is negligible is small or only slow small variation is there like that the slowly varying with time are mostly constant there is no change in the output the output is constant only here we can call that one here the output is constant which will not vary with time are very less or negligibly small amount of variation that is called static characteristics we have to call it if suppose instead of that if the it is varying with time is nothing but initially it was like this okay at this at this point same point you consider that one it will vary like this time variation ho gaye again it will come to like this like this or whatever it may be like this if not that is called dynamic characteristics we have to call which will vary with the time the time increase or right? just a minute here the zero is there the time is increased it the value of the output is increasing here like with the time it is increasing here now at this point the value of the output is decreasing with time here suddenly decreasing the time the output is not constant with time here that is called dynamic characteristics we are going to call the set of criteria defined for the instrument which are change rapidly with time is called dynamic characteristics it is which will vary with the time that is called dynamic characteristics which will be constant at any time here now which will, which will not vary with the time that is called static characteristics we are going to call here now is it clear any doubts if you have any doubts you can ask static characteristics and dynamic characteristics any doubts try to use the reply repeat sir repeat karna hai yes sir which will which will not vary with time see here the voltage i will consider your house ka voltage hai abhi socho okay abhi morning 6 am either i will draw here 6 am okay next 12 am i will consider here now 12 am so this is the 100 volt output i will consider here now 200 volt output i will consider here now. okay so at this is also this is the night 12 am we can consider here now. 12 6 12 12 and uh, 12 am 6 am and 6 pm it is now like this we will consider here now. 6 pm 12 pm this is 12 am and 6 am here now. 6 am so at night 12 am the voltage is around 200 you consider just the voltage is around 200 okay so i will mark here at 200 here morning i will check the voltage it will be 200 only second point we got that one if the afternoon i will get calculate that one i will check that one it is also around 199 is there next in the evening i will check that one it is again 200 the time is increasing here time is varying here time vary ho right hello yes, sir. but what is the output here now output is also varying or constant here constant constant with the time it is not varying varying 200 to 199 199.99 that is negligibly small so it is which is not varying with time that is called it is static characteristics we are going to call that one it is a constant we are going to call that one the quantity which one we have measured here now the voltage we have measured here the voltage we have measured that is called static characteristics we are going to call that one. is it clear now static characteristics yes sir okay next same thing i will consider here now i will consider the instead of sears 12 am here next 6 am 12 pm and 6 pm here now okay instead of output we have what we have consider for the static voltage we have consider instead of voltage what i will consider i will consider the current as output now here current as output i will consider here now i as the output here so at the night 
at the 12 am there is only lamps we are going to use lamp use karte na humne lamp loads or whatever the fan we are going to use almost it is a 5 ampere at the night 12 am to morning 6 am suddenly in the morning 6 am your mother will get up they will geyser switch on they will switch on the geyser what is the ampere for the geyser 16 ampere or 15 ampere switch is required for the geyser washing machine grinder mixer that is 15 or 16 ampere more than this current will be increases in the morning next in the afternoon again it will decrease us here and again it will in decrease in the evening and again in the evening for the cooking the food and all that one that is increasing here so here with the time something is varying here with the time the output is varying here yes sir that is called dynamic characteristics we are going to call that the quantity it may be voltage current power energy whatever it may be the quantity which will vary with the time or which is change if the time changes the quantity will changes that is called dynamic characteristics if the time changed there is no change in the quantity that is called static characteristics we are going to call that which will not change with the time this is changes with the time here now rapidly changes with time that is called dynamic which will not changes with time that is called static characteristics is it clear now yes sir so the static characteristics some points are there again in this one those are the next point we will discuss about linearity we are going to call here now sorry accuracy we are going to accuracy means what anyone can you tell me don't read that one reading will not give the answer so then accuracy means what anyone can you tell me you have any standard value if you have any standard value if the measuring value or quantity example i will take your bike bike le lo sabko sabke paas bike hai i think i will just imagine that one yes bike hai sabke paas हेलो यस सो अभी नॉर्मली कॉलेज से घर जाने के लिए आपको फाइव मिनट्स लगते नॉर्मली कॉलेज टू होम जाने के लिए फाइव मिनट्स लगते सो दिस फाइव मिनट्स इज द स्टैंडर्ड टाइम फाइव मिनट्स इज द स्टैंडर्ड टाइम इफ यू आर सपोज ड्यू टू सम वर्क और वॉट एवर इट मे बी इन द ट्रैफिक एंड ऑल द थिंग्स यू विल टेक फोर मिन सॉरी सिक्स मिनट्स यू हैव टेकन मीन्स it is not accurate that one if anything there is no empty in the road lockdown and and all the happens you will go in within 3 minutes only you will go to the houses that is called inaccurate we are going to call the standard value is nothing but 5 minutes time is there the nearer value which is nothing but the quantity which one we are going to measure that should be nearer that should be near or closeness to the standard value the 5 minutes is the standard value 5 minutes is the standard value you have to reach around 4.5 to 5.5 that will give the accurate more accurate we are going to call that one plus or minus plus or minus 90% we can call that one example one more i will give that one suppose you have purchased the honda shine vehicle someone have purchased honda shine vehicle you have purchased here yeah. okay while purchasing that they will mention that one it will give mileage of 6, 60 km it will give like that they will mention yes or no they will tell that one 60 km mileage they this sari bolke hai na hello awaaz aa rahi hai sabko any vehicle they will tell the mileage per liter of petrol it will give 60 km mileage but when you will start to write that one it will not give 60 km within the 50 km only the petrol will get empty over there for 1 liter so you can calculate that one 50 km it is going giving they told 60 km then you have to think that one it is not accurate not accurately it is not giving the mileage then what you will do you will go for the service yes or no yes sir 
that is called accuracy we are going to call that one if it is 60 km wo bol diye aapko around abhi socho 59 km diye aap service ko jate kya mileage kam de rahe bol ke jate kya 1 km kam diya bol ke no no why near it is a nearer value closeness to the standard value yes that is called accuracy we are going to call accuracy is the closeness with which the instrument reading approximate the true value App approaches the true value of the quantity true value is nothing but standard value of the quantity to be measured or being measured here now humne kaun sa measure karna hai wo measure karne ka value which is closeness to the true value or standard value that one we are going to call as accuracy we are going to call thus accuracy of a measurement means conformity to the truth truth is what our standard value conformity means whatever we are measuring here now it should go close to that standard value then we are going to that one confirmation we are going to call that confirmation we are going to call that one is it clear accuracy any doubts definition no sir okay accuracy is determined as the maximum amount by which the result differs from the true value maximum difference is there then only that is not accurate we can call that one if there is small changes or it is closeness to the standard value that one will not call that one as it is not accurate or inaccurate we should not call that one that is also accurate only we are going to call that one the true value is not indicated by any measurement system due to the loading effect lags and mechanical problem example hysteresis rehne do vibration rehne do noises rehte so uske liye abhi any measuring instruments you consider they will not know koi bhi aisa humko true value chahiye bolke nahi le sakte uske liye standards we have discussed international standards primary standards secondary standards yes we have discussed or not the international standards are not available for the ordinary persons and all the things we have told that one the primary standards they are by taking the international uh, uh, standard reference they will set the value over there from the industry the department each department we can working standards we are those people they will uh, refer the industry uh, standards like that one cycle is there in that cycle only we have to work over there so by considering all the things like hysteresis noise vibration they have found the true value that is they have identified over there actually it is specified in terms of limits of error as point accuracy there are two types of accuracies are there point accuracy and accuracy as percentage of scale we can call that one accuracy as the percentage of scale we can call that one here now so this is the point here now this is the point for this input this you have to reach this point like that we are calling that one if the point is surrounding around here here somewhere here it is now then it is accurate only we are going to it is which is closeness to that point that is called accurate we are going to call that if the point is here if i got the output at this point at this here now is it accurate is it accurate for the no. same input no. the output we are getting here less input we are going output we are going to get here now so this much error is there the error is more means the accuracy will be very less over there so it is not accurate here now it is not accurate here now and one more thing suppose instead of this is our point here now point of standard point we are going to call for some input we are going to get the value of that here only at before reaching to that point only we have got the output means is this accurate no no so surrounding they have mentioned here some point is there surrounding here only somewhere we got means closeness to the true value that is called point accuracy we are going to call particularly we have to compare with one point we are going to call that that is called point accuracy another thing accuracy as percentage of scale accuracy as percentage of scale all of you people you are studying in the engineering yes you are studying in the engineering so 
considering all subject what is the standard percentage what is the standard maximum is 100 percent is there yes maximum 100 percent hai na yes sir total yes, percentage sir. we are going to call that one that is 100 percent for the passing which they have fixed that is 35 percent they have fixed 35 percent or 30 percent they are going to go for the first class they will fix that one 60 percent they are going to get that one here now in a class total 80 students are there 80 students our aim is to this out of this 80 at least 75 students should have to pass at least 75 students should have to pass here now our aim it is nothing but actual the accurate value is nothing but 80 out of 80 they have to pass here now yes 80 ko 80 pass hona hai but 75 papers they passed and what is the percent is here now 75 divided by 80 calculate it Ninety three percent. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ninety three percent they have passed here now. So it is also a point percentage accuracy. We are going to call that one instead of seventy five per students. If out of eighty only forty students they passed in the subject means. What is the percentage? It is a 50% that is inaccurate based on the percentage we are calculating here. Based on the percentage we are calculating here now, only 50% students they have passed. That is inaccurate we are going to call that one. So accuracy as percentage of scale range is there. So 50%, 80%, over 70%, up to 85%, no need to worry about that one. If it is more than 80%, 80%, 80% then or less than 80 percent that is called we are going to we can call that one that is inaccurate or not accurate we are going to call that one here now is it clear yes sir accuracy is clear okay one two more yes, points sir. are there just a minute accuracy of the measure signal depends upon the following factor this whatever the accuracy is there it is depends on the measure signal depends upon the following factor two factors are there one is the observer while doing the measurement while doing the observing that one if i done any mistakes instead of reading 08 if i read 03 then it is a mistake only it will not give the error exactly what is the value it is going to display that one we have to do that one and another one is variation of the signal to be measured the signal is varying continuously it will not give the accuracy over there it should be static characteristics then only we can measure the accuracy we can call that one if it is varying it is a dynamic characteristics then it is not possible it is varying with timings also so these two factors will affect the or the accuracy depends upon these two factors we can show that one here now is it clear any doubts yes sir Doubt hai kya? Bolo na. No doubt, sir. No doubt. The next point will go for that is called linearity here now. Anyone can you tell me what do you mean by linearity? Anyone? Can you tell me what do you mean by linearity? Can I give the example? Take example that now. How many years engineering you have to study? Four years. Four, Four years. Okay. First year fee kitna hai? 92,000. Hai socho. 92,000. Your parents are efforting to educate you. Your parents are efforting to educate you. First year ka fee pay kiye aapka pita ji ne. Aap first year pass ho gaye. Second year ko admission liye 92,000. Okay. Okay. Next second year ka admission liye. Next second year pass ho gaye. Third year ko admission lete. Third year ko pass ho gaye. Final year ko admission lete. Is there any difference here no? Which difference ho gaye? Ko jaisa input paisa de rahe, jaisa admission de rahe, aisa output a rahe unko. 
Yes. Yes. That is called linearity. That is called linearity. The output is directly proportional to the input or linearly proportional to the input. That is called linearity. We are going to call that one. If they are paying the fee of 92,000 for the first year, if you failed in two subjects in the first year, that is in non-linear, we are going to call. It is not linearly proportional. Aap fail ho gaye. Next, fail ho gaye, jaiso eligible ho gaye second year ko. Then second year ka bhi admission lete, aur second year ka pass ho jayega, aur first year ka aisa baiki ho gaye, to third year ko eligible nahi hai aap. Third year ko eligible nahi hote. They are ready to pay for the third year also. But you have flopped. There is no output at all. Output hai kya udar? Input aray output hai kya? No. No. That is non in linear or non linear. We are going to call. Suppose you passed the first year. They paid the for the fee for the first year. You pass ho gaye. Second year admission karne ke liye unke pas paisa nahi hai. But you have the capability to pass the second year also. You will pass the second year, but they have not done the admission. That is also incomplete. Output is increasing, but there is no input at all. That is also in non-linear. We are going to call that one here. The linear is nothing but the output should linearly vary with input here. Now this is input we are going to call here. This is the input. This is the output we are going to call here. Now. If the input is increasing, suppose I will consider this point here now. From here, the input is increasing, then output should have to linearly it should have to increase here. How much point the input is increased from here to this one like that? We have to consider like this here. It should have to linearly proportional to the output should linearly proportional to the input we are going to call that. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Linearity clear away. So one of the best characteristics of an instrument or a measuring system is considered to be linearity. That is, output is linearly proportional to the input or input is linearly proportional to the output, whatever it may be. That is called linearity. We are going to call that one. Most of the systems require linear behaviors as it is de desirable. We are going to call that one. As it is desirable in your class total 41 students are there you we are giving the input of 41 students so you are conducting the class regularly but you peoples are attending only 20 21 students that is not linear here no. it is not linear if you are conducting the class your strength should also maintain that strength here no. linearly proportional to the every class we have to so that is also you understand the thing is it clear linearity Yes, sir. Can I go for yes. the next topic? The next one, the next topic is speed of response. We are going to call that one. Anyone, can you tell me what you mean by speed of response? This is called speed of response. Whenever I will ask the question, you will not respond properly. How much time it will take that one? Immediately. If I have given the supply, immediately it should have to give the response of the reading should have to show that one here. माने सप्लाई देने के बाद ऐसा दो तीन मिनट के बाद रीडिंग दिखाई तो कुछ फायदा है क्या यस स्पीड ऑफ रिस्पांस व्हेन एवर वी लास्ट द क्वेश्चन इमीडिएटली इफ यू आर रिप्लाइंग टू माय क्वेश्चन देन दैट इज क्विकनेस क्विकली इफ यू आर रिप्लाइंग दैट इज स्पीड ऑफ रिस्पांस वी आर गोइंग टू कॉल दैट वन आफ्टर आस्किंग द क्वेश्चन यू विल इफ यू आर टेकिंग फॉर 2 मिनट्स 1 मिनट टाइम दैट इज नॉट देयर इज नॉट क्विकनेस हियर नाउ like a measuring instrument if we have given suppose 10 volt supply we have to give i will give the 10 volt supply 10 volt but the measurement instrument measuring instrument it will not show the 10 volts over there it will take some time three to four minutes it will have taken means that is not quickness speed of response is very less how i will increase one two three like that it should have to the instrument should have to show the reading that is called Quickness of the response that is called speed of response. The quickness of an instrument to read the measured variable is called the speed of response. We are going to call that one. Whatever the quantity we are going to measure, that should read that one, read the 
measurement variable whatever the output we are going to get that one here no that is called speed of response we are going to call that one speed of response is defined as the rapidity with which an instrument or measurement system responds to changes in measurement quality measured quantity at home any change ki abhi maine suppose ghar mein suddenly kya ho jayega abhi एक फंक्शन है और दो तीन लैंप ऑन करना है हमको सप्लाई लेने के केबल लेके कनेक्ट कर देते हैं उधर वो टाइम लेते क्या अभी ऑलरेडी चालू है बोल के विल टेक एनी टाइम्स टू स्विच ऑन दैट वन नो दैट इज कॉल्ड क्विकनेस ऑफ द इंस्ट्रूमेंट टू मेजर द वोल्टेज व्हेन एवर विल गिव द सप्लाई टू दिस वन यू कंसीडर हियर इन एट दिस पॉइंट इफ वी हैव कनेक्टेड द वोल्टमीटर इमीडिएटली इट विल शो द 230 वोल्ट इफ इट इज टेकिंग 1 मिनट और 2 मिनट्स टाइम then the it is not quickness the speed of response is very less we can call that one is it clear yes sir is it clear example aur ek bol de do maine abhi just now i am writing something here now i am writing something here now see here, just a minute ha huh? what i will write you just tell me so just tell tell me first what i am writing here what i have drawn sinusoidal wave sinusoidal wave while writing i am writing here but you are not getting that one after 1 minute 2 minutes it is showing to you means this is also the speed of response of zoom is very less we can say that one you can say that one it will it has some delay it will take whatever the input i am giving here but the output to reach to the output it is taking some delay that is not quickness there is less quickness is there or less speed of response is there we can call that one here is it clear yes sir okay the next point this is very interesting point here now dead time and dead zone we are going to call that one here dead time and dead zone so how we have to identify the dead time and dead zone we if we have the standard value standard value is there then only it is possible to identify the what we are going to call that is dead zone and dead time we can observe that one here see here this graph is visible yes sir see this one whatever already the line is there here now this is called measured quantity already we have measured this is we are comparing with this one here this is already measured this line i just want i will take the annotate i will take that spotlight check it this line it is visible this is measured quantity we are going to call that one okay at zero time it is 20 is there at zero the input time is zero but the output whatever the measured quantity is there 20 is there what i will do i will increase the time here now 1 Two, three, like that. I will increase the time. The output should have to increase here. No, linearly it should have to increase. Yes or no? Linearly it should have to increase. Yes. Yes, sir. See, comparing with this and this here now. This one you just leave as it is here. At the zero, it is twenty is there here. When I will the time will increase as one. it will not increase the measured quantity will not increase it will constantly there is no change in the output this measured quantity is output this is the input the time is input here now at zero time 20 is there when the time is 1 but the output is what is the output what is the output 20, 20 only there is no change in the output again the time will increase from 1 to 2 again there is no change in the output increase input is increasing here no time is increasing but the output is not changing at all here no at this point after this point if i increase the time then suddenly the output will be comes here no it will comes the output here output is increasing here that from this point yes output is increasing or not that after that one if the time is increased here now up to 2 you consider here now here 1.8 is there there is no change up to 1.8 there is no change after 1.22 there is change in the time output also it is changed yes output also it is changed here understanding or not 
Yes, sir. Output is changed here now. So, if for the continuously we are giving the input, but there is no change in the output at all. So that time taken to change the output here. Now at this point, the output is changed here. Now that time we are going to call as dead time. We are going to call for continuous change in the input, but there is no change in the output that is called that time. We are going to call as dead time. We are going to call that function now. from zero to 1.8. That is called dead time. We are going to call that. When the output is changed here now, here it is changed. So from this point to the measured quantity already you have considered here now, what is the output is there here? At this point of time, how much the output should be there? Nearly 65 output should be there. 65 output is there. So this reason from 20 to 65, whatever the reason is there, that is called dead zone we are going to call here now. In the output side, that is called dead zone we are going to call that one. For the continuously change in the input, we will not get the output that is called dead zone. We are going to call that. Is it clear? Is it clear? Suppose one more example I will give here to you people. One more example I will give to you people. So you have your parents are putting effort in you, you people at the 10th. Okay, at the 10th. Sorry, ninth you have scored sixty percent. You have scored. You could think that one. At the ninth, you have scored sixty percent. Ninth, you have scored sixty percent. Again, you they will take the effort to teach you and put the tuition for you people, and they will increase the time. So in the tenth also, you, there is no change at all. The here now, again you will do sixty percent only. At the twelfth also, you have. They will give the effort, they will put the effort for you because there is no change at all here. But when the engineering first semester, suddenly you will increase your results to 80%. 80% to yeah, you have increased here. So up to the time taken to from ninth to here, whatever the efforts are taken, that is called input we are going to call. For this much input, what is the output here now? There is no change in the output. Output change over again. Output is changed or not? No. No change here. No. That is called a dead time. We are going to call here. No. Dead time. Who parents kuch bhi bolne do you tum sunne ka nahi rehte. That is called your age. When you will yet you will enter to the engineering. If you few may got some idea about that one, some information or whatever the uh, what you mature mature mind like that we can think that that time dead time bolte hain. Is it clear now, Abhi? Whatever the input is giving, inputs are giving, we are giving the input, but there is no change in the output here. Output, which we change in the new That is called dead time we are going to call. Comparing with the actual value here now, actual value at this point is this one, 65 is there. But our is case is 20 only. So 20 to 65, whatever this zone is there, this zone we are going to call as dead zone. We are going to call that one here. X axis, the time is there. So that is dead time we are going to consider. The Y axis, whatever the output is there, that is called during that dead time, that is called dead zone. We are going to call that. Is it clear? Roll number 21, 26, 5. They are joining now. Yes, sir. Is it clear? Any doubts? Okay. No, sir. Dead time. I will read this one. Dead time is defined as the time required by a measurement system to begin to respond to a change in the measurement here. Change in the measurement means change in the output here now. How much time it will take to change in the output? This year 1.8 is it has taken here now. 1.8 after 1.8 only. It is started to respond here now. Responding for the input, it is responding here now. So this time, dead time we are going to call here. Dead zone is, it is defined as the largest change of input quantity. Input quantity, largest change away for which there is no output of the instrument. Output nahi hai, kidar tak, kidar tak output nahi hai. This point to the actual value, whatever it is there, 
that one we are going to call as dead zone we are going to call that one. so that is called dead zone and dead time we have called here now so the next point we'll go we'll go to the repeatability and reproducibility have you heard the name repeatability and reproducibility have you heard the name repeatability and reproducibility yes sir i will ask only simple question you people okay abhi 20 liters abhi first floor ek build ek building hai ground floor pe hai tum log abhi ग्राउंड फ्लोर पे फर्स्ट सेकंड फ्लोर को 20 लीटर्स का एक वाटर कैन लेके जाना है जस्ट इमेजिन ग्राउंड फ्लोर से 20 लीटर का एक वाटर कैन सेकंड फ्लोर को लेके जाना है लेके जाना है फर्स्ट टाइम तुमने लिए उस टाइम क्या किए आई थिंक आई विल टेल यू पीपल्स टू मिनट्स टाइम लिए टू मिनट्स टाइम लिए सोचो अभी ओके second time what i will do again i will give the one more 20 can i 20 liters can i will give and then again you will go for that one you will take 2 minutes or more than that more than more than that 3 minutes you will take that one okay one minute extra you will take that one again i will give the 20 liter can when you will come back to that one again i will give the same uh, can then what will happen how much time you will take Five more minutes. than 3 Uh, i think okay five minutes you will take i like that so this one in this one which is repeatability which is reproducibility here there is no reproducibility here now here repeatability is there repeatability means you are not saying no you are taking the can to the second floor but you are not taking at that much same accuracy you are not taking that one here now you are time is increasing here now so that is called repeatability whatever the first can you have taken that same time you are not taking you are taking more than that means that is called repeatability it may be if may you may take one minute also that is also it is not that is also we are going to call as repeatability we are going to call that repeatability means we will not get the same whatever the first response we got same we are not going to get that one रिप्रोड्यूसेबिलिटी मीन्स अभी एक कैन दिया मैंने और दस कैन दिया तो भी सेम टाइम में आप उधर ऊपर पहुंचते हैं ना दैट इज कॉल्ड रिप्रोड्यूसेबिलिटी यू हैव द कैपेबिलिटी दैट सेम टाइम सेम वेटेज सेम यू आर रीचिंग ओवर देयर मीन्स दैट इज कॉल्ड रिप्रोड्यूसेबिलिटी कैपेसिटी इज देयर आई एम टेकिंग द एग्जाम्पल हियर मीन्स इफ द ओल्ड मीटर इज देयर यूअर सपोज 40 students who are there in the our batch one batch 40 students hai har ek ko individually measurement karo bol diye na all 40 times it should have to show same reading dikhane ka hai same quantity same load same supply ko same input dikhana hai ek aadmi ko for 13 230 volt dikhane ka ek aadmi ko 218 dikhane ka that is called repeatability but the it is not reproducibility capacity is not there like that we can say that is it clear समझ में आया क्या रिप्रोड्यूसेबिलिटी मींस हाउ मच कितना बार भी कंडक्शन करो कितना बार भी रीडिंग ले लो आप सेम वोल्टेज सेम इनपुट को सेम आउटपुट आना है आप दस बार ले लो बारह बार ले लो सौ बार ले लो आउटपुट शुड बी सेम ओके इफ एनी चेंज इन द आउटपुट आर वट इट मे बी दैट इज कॉल्ड रिपीट कर रहे हम बट द आउटपुट इज नॉट एक्यूरेट वी आर गोइंग टू गेट दैट इज कॉल्ड रिपीटेबिलिटी रिप्रोड्यूसेबिलिटी मीन्स आप हंड्रेड बार करो सेम आउटपुट आना है दैट इज कॉल्ड रिप्रोड्यूसेबिलिटी वी आर गोइंग टू कॉल दिस इज कॉल्ड रिपीटेबिलिटी वी आर गोइंग टू कॉल एट द स्टैंडर्ड इट शुड बी लाइक दिस सेंटर में है ना सेंटर में है ना दिस सेंटर लाइन दैट इज कॉल्ड स्टैंडर्ड लाइन इफ आई रिपीटेड फॉर द सेम वैल्यू सेम इनपुट द आउटपुट विल बी वेरी इट मे बी लाइक दिस एंड सेकेंड टाइम वन मोर टाइम आई है मीन्स इट मे बी लाइक दिस प्लस आर माइनस एनी वेयर it is called if it is it comes like this also it comes like this also then also that is acceptable it may comes like this also that is also acceptable it may comes like this also that is also acceptable 
So plus or minus, we have given some range of that one that is called repeatability we are going to call. If it should be a straight line, that is called whatever, how many times, two times, three times we have taken the reading means it should be a straight line that one that is called reproducibility. We are going to call that one here now. The repeatability is defined as the variation of the scale reading and is the random in nature, random in nature, randomly plus or minus we are going to take that one. Reproducibility and repeatability are a measure of closeness, closeness with which a given input may be measured over a, over and over again. The given input over and again, over again we have to measure that is called, there is reproducibility and repeatability we are going to call that one. Reproducibility is the, it is the degree of closeness with which a given value may be repeatedly measured. Given value hai ye, repeatedly measured hai to, isko closeness rene ka. Closeness means it should be like this one. Uska andar, me aare na. That is called accurate answer. We have, we have to get that one. That is called reproducibility. We are going to call that one. It may be specified in terms of units for a given period of time. For a period of time, they are going to give the units. We are going to give that one. Any doubts? No, sir. Some more definitions are there. Just a minute. Who is this? Roll number 42. Now he is joining. So next one is dead zone repeatability is over. Resolution, we are going to call that one here. Suppose there is a non-zero input value. Input value is non-zero. Then we'll again found that output does not change at all until a certain increment here. Now. See here. This is the value is there. Okay. So the input is like this is there. Input either right. We are changing the input here. Now again, we are changing the input. There is no change in the output at all here. Now. After some voltage, suddenly the output will be changes. Example, the what is the diode characteristics all of you have seen? Yes, sir. Like that here now. For certain value, there is no change in the output, but the input is changing. Non-zero value. Zero ko nahi bol rho mein, non-zero. Idhar se check karo aap. But a certain value is crossed, then suddenly it will increase just the output here. Now. That is called resolution we are going to call that. If the input is slowly increased from some arbitrary is nothing but non-zero input value, it will be again found that output does not change. Output change in your either until a certain increment of is exceeded here. Now until this is the certain increment is there. If it is exceeded, suddenly output will be get that one here. Now. That is called the resolution. We are going to call that one here. Now. Range and span range or span we are going to call that one so example i told that one what is the for the first class it should be 60 to 75 percent 60 to 75 percent that is considered as first class yes or no 74 percent first class consider 60 to 74 percent yes or no Result consider karo tumara result 60 to 74 percent that is first class. If it is 75 and above 75 to 100 percent that is called distinction. It has some range. Range is there or not here? Range hai kya nahi? Yes sir. This is called range or span we are going to call here now. The maximum value, minimum value we are going to call. But in between the maximum and minimum whatever there is there that is called range we are going to call that one example so you have started your journey from the Pandrapur to Solapur you have to note down your reading of your vehicle vehicle ka reading kitna hai dekhne ka abhi 724 hai socho to reach the Solapur after reaching to the Solapur it will show that one 750 it will show that one 750 it has shown here means what is the distance how you will measure the distance here now 750 minus 724 you will measure, na? Mangal Veda you consider that one. 750 minus 724. What is that one? It is nothing but 26 kilometer. Yes or no? 
that is yes, the sir. range you can calculate here now range or span is nothing but whatever the maximum value minus minimum value it will give some range here now it will give some range it will give here now so we'll continue in the next class we'll continue that one, one more time we'll do that one. is it clear any doubts any doubts regarding this if you have any doubts you can ask me anyway you don't have any lectures next last class i know yes no doubts no sir okay we'll stop here only once again i'll check the participants 29 participants are there one two three four roll number three is absent <clears throat> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, absent. Twelve, thirteen, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Rule number fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, high, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Just a minute. Huh? We'll stop here only.